This video is all about how to optimize Windows for gaming. Before doing these tweaks, my games were stuttering and my FPS wasn't consistent, but after applying them, everything felt way smoother, more stable, and my frame rates went up noticeably. So make sure to watch till the end to get the best results. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. It really supports the channel and keeps more guides coming your way. So guys, the first step to optimizing Windows for gaming is to make sure your system is running clean and error free. Hidden issues, corrupted files, or damaged system components can quietly slow down performance, overload your CPU, and reduce your GPU's potential. To start, open your start menu, type CMD. Then right click command prompt and choose run as administrator. Once it's open, copy the first command from the video description and paste it in. Then hit enter. This will use the dism restore health function to scan your Windows image for hidden errors and automatically repair or replace any damaged system files. It might take a few minutes, so let it finish completely. When that's done, grab the second command from the description and run it the same way. This one runs the System File Checker, SFC, which performs a deep scan of all protected Windows files and restores any corrupted ones with fresh working versions. Running both of these scans makes sure your Windows installation is completely clean, stable, and ready to deliver the best possible gaming performance. Think of this as giving your system a fresh tune-up before unlocking its full FPS potential. All right guys, in this step, we're going to disable background apps using the group policy editor. Background apps continue running even when you're not using them. Disabling them ensures that all your system resources stay focused on gaming, giving you smoother performance and higher FPS. To get started, open your start menu and type edit group policy. Then click on the result that says edit group policy. Once the window opens, navigate to the following path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy. Inside this section, look for the setting called let Windows apps run in the background. Double click on it to open the configuration window. By default, it's usually set to not configured, which means Windows allows apps to run freely in the background. To disable them, select enabled, then under default for all apps, choose force deny from the drop down menu. After that, click apply and OK to save your changes. This tweak stops unnecessary background apps from launching automatically and eating up valuable system resources while you're gaming. All right, guys, in this step, we're going to disable unnecessary Windows services that quietly hold your system back from delivering full performance. These background processes can use up valuable CPU power, RAM, and even network bandwidth that your games could be using instead. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing services. Click on the services app from the results. Here you'll see a full list of background services running on your PC, including many that you probably don't need. The first one to find is the background intelligent transfer service. This service is designed to transfer files when your PC is idle using leftover network bandwidth. While that's useful for updates, it can cause lag spikes and bandwidth drops during gaming sessions. To disable it, right click the service, select properties, and in the startup type dropdown, choose disabled. Click apply and OK. And if the service is running, hit stop before disabling it. Next, Scroll down and locate Remote Desktop Services. This feature supports remote connections, which most gamers never use on their personal systems. Keeping it enabled only adds unnecessary background load. To turn it off, right-click, go to Properties, change the startup type to Disabled, 
Then click Apply and OK. Finally, the most important one, Sysmain, previously known as Superfetch. This service tries to speed up app launches by preloading frequently used programs into memory, but it often causes random stutters, high disk usage, and FPS drops, especially on low or mid-range systems. To disable it, find Sysmain, right-click, select properties, set startup type to disabled, and if it's currently running, click stop, then hit apply and OK. Once these three services are disabled, your system will run much leaner and more efficiently. You'll free up CPU resources, reduce memory usage, and eliminate unnecessary background bandwidth consumption. Now guys, in the next step, we're going to use Gear Up Booster to further improve performance and reduce ping while gaming. This tool helps optimize your network connection and system routes, giving you lower latency, faster response times, and smoother online gameplay overall. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gera Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. So guys, in this step, we're going to disable memory compression. Windows uses this feature to compress unused data in your RAM, which can help in low memory situations. But during gaming, it often causes micro stutters, inconsistent frame times, and even FPS drops. To apply this tweak, open your start menu, type PowerShell, then right click on Windows PowerShell and choose Run as Administrator. This will open a blue command window with full system access. Next, head over to the video description, copy the command provided there, paste it into the PowerShell window and press enter. This command disables Windows memory compression feature. Don't worry, if your system already has it turned off, the command won't make any changes, so it's completely safe to use. Once the command finishes running, simply close PowerShell. By disabling memory compression, Windows will handle your RAM more directly and efficiently, reducing background memory juggling. The result is a noticeable improvement in frame consistency, less stuttering and smoother, more stable gameplay overall. All right, guys, in this step, we're going to disable core isolation to reduce unnecessary CPU overhead and free up performance for gaming. Start by typing core isolation into the Windows search bar and selecting the result. This will open the core isolation settings inside Windows Security. Once you're there, look for the Memory Integrity option. This is the main feature of core isolation. It uses virtualization to protect critical system processes from tampering, which is great for security but also adds extra CPU load during high-performance tasks like gaming. To disable it, simply toggle the memory integrity switch to off. Windows might ask you to restart your system to apply the change, so go ahead and reboot when prompted. 
Keep in mind this feature is designed for users who prioritize maximum security. However, if your main goal is better performance and smoother gameplay, and you already follow safe computing habits, turning it off won't put your system at significant risk. By disabling core isolation, you allow your CPU to focus more on gaming performance instead of background virtualization tasks, resulting in a more responsive system and higher, more stable FPS. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video helped boost your FPS and make your gameplay smoother, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more PC optimization guides.